Yeah, we did arrive in DAC. Uh, I mean, uh, in Shanghai like eight days ago, like nine yeah. days ago. Uh, this is pretty much our first boot camp as a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we are very calm people. Uh, we know what we did wrong and everybody understands their problems and how we utilize like our advantages. So, uh, Zaya and RTC are young boys. They, yeah. yeah, and they're very, they're very respectful. Also, they they know uh, how to win the game and they know how to like chill down and they know how to just uh, be very relaxed. So it's very nice to play with them and I like them a lot. Okay, uh, the RTC uh, used to play the carry position, mm -hmm. but now he's on solo. But how, uh, in your, your opinion, what's the difference between RTC and Dendi? RTC and Dendi, well, naturally I can't say that Dendi is the same role as RTC uh -huh. because RTC plays carry, like uh -huh. uh, overall. And if he goes middle lane, then he's going to be the guy that farms actually a lot. Dendi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dendi can farm maybe, but he doesn't, uh, he plays a lot more playmakers. I can compare uh, S4 to Dendi much more right. than RTC. Yeah. So, but overall, RTZ is you know one of the best solo mid players, and uh, his progress has been much more than Dendi's. Yeah. Because huh? he's a new guy, and now he's like very far up far. Mm -hmm. It's just like uh, S4. He's also mm -hmm. maybe long time ago he was a new guy. Now he's not really a new guy anymore. But yeah. they have a little bit more different mindset and uh, have a more perfectionist, like uh, not perfectionist, but they they know how to play the metas. Like they know how yeah. to they know what is good for the team. Mm. Uh, uh, how many? Uh, there's many people. Uh, there are many people said that the Zai Mills uh, is uh, uh, the word of uh, the. What is the word? No, Zai. Zai. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you and Zai going or uh, about support. So, uh, mm -hmm. could could you tell me something about Zai? That he went to the offlane instead of support. Yeah. Uh, well, Zai himself played uh, offlane in Han. Yeah. Huh? And uh, he's very. Uh, he's very knowledgeable about his offlane uh, situation, so he knows like about mm -hmm. the offlane anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. The fact is that in EG it didn't work out for him to play offlane because Universe uh, could not really play support that well, so Zai just took that role over. But they utilized it on getting like both heroes on farm, so mm -hmm. a lot of strategies involved in Zai farming too. And well, mm -hmm. overall it's, uh, it's pretty much not that big of a change. It takes a lot of practice to understand that. Uh, whether you can push your potential as an mm -hmm. offlaner, because uh, if you're in woods and farming and doing some uh, casual moves as support, mm -hmm. uh, and you play a, like a long time that role, then you have like that role is uh -huh. very good for you. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to the offlane, you need a lot of practice to understand that you're playing against two supports. A support yeah. doesn't play against supports, but yeah. offlaner plays against supports. So it's a little bit different mindset, but I think it's going to be fine. Okay, uh, you know, Secret uh, uh, had done a, you know, a great performance in this year. You, uh, you built this team this year, or the, uh, last year, mm -hmm. and uh, you did a, a whole a good, a great performance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in, your, in your opinion, what uh, is the secret? You know, your team What's called the secret? secret. What's the secret of the whole situation? Uh, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Only the word. Only the secret. secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you so much, Papi. No problem. Yeah, thank you so much.